So usually when we're editing a video project, we want to export a bunch of individual clips into a single video file. But we recently had a client ask us to record B-roll clips for them to use for their internal video projects. So we went out, gathered the footage, made some minor edits to the clips, and then we were ready to export. Now this is super easy to do if you're using Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve. But unfortunately, at the time of making this video, there really isn't a straightforward way to do this in Adobe Premiere. I guess you could manually set the in and out points for each clip and export only the selected range, but that would be way too tedious for the amount of clips that we have. You could also drag your clips from the timeline into the project bin, effectively creating subsequences for each clip, which you could then send to Adobe Media Encoder. The downside of this technique, though, is that none of your effects or color adjustments would be applied to the exported clips. And since it's pretty normal to want to apply at least a few basic edits to your footage, this isn't really a practical solution. The best solution to batch export a bunch of individual clips is to use Render and Replace. So start by right-clicking your edited clips in the project timeline and select Render and Replace. For Source, select Sequence. You can choose between a few different formats and presets and you can also import a preset. Make sure you have the right destination map for the rendered files. You also can check this box to include handles, which are extra frames before or after the clip's in and out points. Since I've already adjusted the in and out points on these clips, I'm going to leave this box unchecked. And then when you're ready, click OK and it will start rendering. You will now see a folder with your exported clips, and the clips on your timeline will be replaced with the rendered formats. You can revert back to the unrendered clips at any time by right-clicking and selecting Restore Unrendered. Overall, this works pretty well, but it's not perfect. One bug we discovered is that whenever Warp Stabilizer is applied to a clip, the rendered clip has a message overlaid on it saying that new frames need analyzing, even though the effect has already been applied to the clip. Also worth noting is that any effects applied on adjustment layers above the clips will not be applied to the rendered file. I hope that Adobe will make it easier to batch export individual clips in future releases of Premiere. But in the meantime, I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you enjoyed this type of content, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thanks, see you next time.